All right, so what if I told you as an Apple user, you have been using the Apple Notes app all wrong, and there is a bunch of other features that you never knew existed. Well, lucky for you guys, you landed on this video, and I'm about to give up free game on how to properly use the Apple Notes app, whether you guys are using an iPhone or an iPad. So let's go ahead and break this down. All right, so for this video, all you guys are gonna need is an iPhone or an iPad and to open your Notes app and to watch this entire video from start to finish. So the first thing you guys can do with your notes app is adding notes with Siri so did you guys know that you guys can add a new note while you may be washing dishes cooking working out or even driving basically any situation where you may not have the use of your hands in that moment now all you guys gotta say is hey Siri make a note to watch the latest video of my favorite YouTube podcast And just like that, you're good to go. All right, so number two is locking your notes that may be private or contain sensitive information like passwords and different things like that. So in order for you guys to do this, the first thing you guys wanna do is go into your settings app and tap on notes. Then password and toggle on use face ID. This will take you guys to a screen to enter in your password. Once you put in your password, go back to your notes app and tap on the three dot circle icon in the top right corner and tap on lock. Now I will use face ID to set a password and lock to that specific note. Then all you guys have to do is tap on the new lock icon in the top right corner, or you can just lock your phone like you normally would, and it will automatically password protect that specific note. And if you wanna open that note, go into that note and click on view note use face id and boom you guys are in there like swimwear all right so number three is going to focus on creating subfolders now in order for you guys to be able to do this all you have to do is click on the new folder icon in the bottom left corner name that folder whatever you guys like then just tap and hold and drag it to the top of another folder and then just let it go you will notice the right arrow is gonna turn yellow. Now this is gonna indicate that this folder includes a subfolder. Now if you guys go ahead and press on that highlighted arrow, it will show the subfolder underneath it. Then if you guys click on the main folder, it will go ahead and show you the subfolder in that header area under folders is going to give it like a different look and vibe to that screen now you can also do this by swiping on the main folder and selecting the folder icon and placing the folder wherever you guys like it to be and it will create a subfolder with that folder in itself all right so number four is creating checklists within a note now within a note in the bottom left corner tap on the checklist icon and you guys can see more of a list option where you can now create grocery store lists, daily tasks, or whatever else goes within a list that you may want to include. Also, if you guys swipe to the right on a particular one, it will indent it, which is actually pretty cool. And it creates a sub list type of a checklist. And if you guys go ahead and hold down on a circle, you guys can also drag that one to a new position within your checklist. Then let's go ahead and say that you didn't know that this feature actually existed and you are already have a list within your notes app but now that you know that you can have this checklist you want to go ahead and apply it to that so all you guys got to do is go into that specific note highlight the text that you guys want and go ahead and tap on checklist icon in the bottom left corner and it will create a list for each individual row and put the little circle icon right next to it all right so the next thing is pinning a note which is number five now by holding down on a note you guys will see the option to be able to pin it this will pin a note to the top of the notes app now this way is going to be much easier for you guys to be able to find all your notes if they are important or you tend to reuse those notes a lot now number six is sharing an individual note this is going to give access to your family your friends or whoever you guys want to be able to update and view a note of yours now to share a note open up the note and tap on the icon in the top right corner and select the option share a note now keep in mind only if you guys are airdropping it it will go ahead and keep the same formatting that you have set within that original note any other ways of sharing this like emailing or texting it to somebody is going to format it to just plain body text now this is also good for things like shopping lists uh workout plans or anything you personally want to share with somebody that you want to give access to to be able to edit and different things like that and you guys can also share it and see different things in real time this is going to be the perfect feature for you guys to be able to use that with now the next thing is and number seven and that is scanning documents now this is one that I personally like and I use most by being a business owner and keeping track of all of my receipts and such. To do this, all you guys need to do is open a new note and tap on the camera icon that is displayed 
in the toolbar and tap scan documents. Now, go ahead and hold your phone or your iPad camera over the document or receipt and it will automatically find the edges of that item or that document or that receipt and it's gonna go ahead and take a photo of it. Then go ahead and tap on save and give it a name and boom, you're done. But if you guys have multiple receipts and documents, then I personally recommend pressing and holding on it and selecting small image. Now this is going to allow you guys to be able to display it, making it a whole lot easier for you guys to be able to find your documents and more of like a list view, if that makes sense pretty clean number eight is printing your notes so as long as you guys have a printer that is on the same wi-fi as your device all you guys have to do is go into the note that you want to print tap on the icon in the corner and tap on print number nine is having a gallery view of your notes so once you guys are within a folder just go ahead and tap on the icon in the top right corner and select view as gallery i know Pretty fancy stuff, right? <laughs> All right, so number 10 is searching for a specific note. Now, I know a lot of people out there, probably like me, have tons of freaking notes within the notes app. Now, in the top of your notes app, you have a search bar. So if I need a document, I can go ahead and search for it in two different ways. The first way being is actually within the notes app in itself. I can just type it in at the top. It's gonna show up for me to be able to select it up top. Or I can go ahead and do it from a spotlight search feature on my device, and it's still gonna be able to access it and find it that way as well so you have those two options all right so number 11 is something that you guys might already know that exists but if you don't and you want your eyes not to bleed or hurt every single time you guys open up your notes app or any kind of default apple app uh and you're wondering how i personally got my notes app to look like this and kind of have that dark mode vibe to it instead of the default white mode then all you have to do is swipe down from the right side of your device and select the icon that looks like this from your control center and switch it from light mode to dark mode. Now, if you guys don't see that icon, then all you guys have to do is go into your settings, go into your control panel and tap on dark mode option and add it to your included controls section. And just like that, it's gonna show up in your control center. All right, so number 12, and this is adding notes to your control center. So all you guys have to do is go back to that settings and that control in the area that I just spoke about and add notes there to be able to access a new note quickly or my personal favorite if you tap and hold being able to go ahead and scan a receipt or document quickly and save it to my device so I can access it later if I have to now you guys have everything you need to know in order to be a pro within the notes app on your iPhone or your iPad device but you know what else is dope and that is the secrets I found within the reminders app that video is coming soon. See y'all in the next one. Squad! <laughs>